Welcome to Moments in Biomechanics, a Moments Review. When two opposing forces act along the same line of action on a rigid body, we can add them and somewhat predict their effect. However, when two equal and opposing forces act on a rigid body along different lines of action, a so-called couple, we will get a moment. Let's examine one scenario. Imagine this box, where two equal and opposite forces are applied, one at the top and another at the bottom along the top and bottom faces, respectively. If the height of the box is L, then an origin point in the center of the box would be L divided by 2 away from the top or bottom faces of the box. In general, the moment can be calculated by taking the cross product of the force and the moment arm. Think of it like this. The moment about the origin, O, of force acting through point P is the cross product of the force and the position vector of P. To obtain the moment magnitude, you only have to multiply the force magnitude by the magnitude of the moment arm. On the other hand, the moment vector direction is along the axis about which the moment will rotate the body. This axis is orthogonal to the plane containing the force vector and the moment arm vector. To find this direction, we need to use the right hand rule, where the index finger is the force, the middle finger the moment arm from the line of action to the origin, and the thumb will give you the moment direction. Using the right hand rule in the scenario we are analyzing, we learn that the moment is going from right to left. Notice that this is the result that can be obtained from using the right hand rule on both the top F force and the bottom negative F force. We had assumed that both the top and the bottom forces were the same magnitude. When we have equal but opposite forces acting along different lines of action, we actually call those two forces a couple. A couple gives rise to a unique moment that is independent of the origin. The moment due to a couple is the same regardless of the origin about which the moment is taken. When we calculate the moment magnitude, we add the magnitude from the two individual force moments. We can add them because the two forces are creating a rotation in the same direction. The addition gives us the absolute value of F times L. So the resultant of moments about a particular point due to multiple forces is the moment about that point due to the resultant of all forces. If I move the origin down such that the moment arms are now 3 quarters L and 1 fourth L, when I add the moment arms, they are still the absolute value of F times L. I could keep giving you more examples to show that this is true, but the idea is the same for a couple. The moment will be the same regardless of where the origin is. Take advantage of this by picking the origin that makes the calculation the easiest one possible. Now that you've reviewed moments, let's tackle static equilibrium for rigid bodies. I will see you soon. Thank you.